Meet the Fockers. Nurse Greg Fokker is delivering his first baby. Latvian tradition means naming the baby after whoever delivered it. Greg's name badge says Gaylord Fokker. Greg tells fiancé Pam Burns he wishes they could set a wedding date without their parents meeting. Pam says 48 hours in Coconut Grove with the Fockers will be fine. Greg's already in the Burns family circle of trust. A stranger offers them his cab. Traffic lights all change from red to green. The couple's upgraded to first class. Then the car hire man agrees rental insurance is a scam. Jack Burns expects a Nobel Prize from his grandson, Little Jack. Jack and Pam then hug and perform a complex handshake. Jack and Greg embrace. As far as Greg's parents are concerned, Jack's a horticulturalist. Little Jack's communication skills aren't verbal, but he understands. He performs gestures. Jack translates the baby would like to eat more, take a nap, then poop. The baby headbutts Greg, who then curses, blood gushing from his nose. Jack's upset Greg cursed. Then is further upset Greg hasn't covered his terrifyingly bloody nose. The baby cries. Jack presents his RV, complete with Kevlar reinforced hull and two inch thick plexiglass windows. Jack makes Greg throw a brick at the window. It rebounds and shatters Greg's hire car's windscreen. Jack says the rental insurance should cover it. Greg drinks some funky tasting milk. Jack says it's from Debbie's left breast. Fortunately, she pumped for a week to give them enough for the trip. Jack has a fake breast strapped to his chest, made from an exact cast of Debbie's left bosom. This is so little Jack won't get nipple confusion. Jack wants Greg to feel how soft it is. Dina arrives. Disappointed, Jack took the boob out in company. Jack can't drive due to his sciatica. So Greg must drive. Only at 55. And he must stay alert. Greg accepts a cappuccino from Jack. Jack bellows that Dina should wake up, make Greg a cappuccino, and shake a leg. Luckily, it's a joke. The cockpit's completely soundproof. At Fokker Isle, Greg points out his father Bernie in a hot pink shirt doing capoeira on the lawn. Bernie compares Greg to a young Jewish Marlon Brando and Pam's the sexiest second grade teacher he's ever seen. Bernie kisses Dina Burns's hand and says Jack must be the flower man. Bernie kisses Jack's neck, then comments on his pectoral muscles. Jack does calisthenics and medicine ball training and plays bi-monthly football. The Fokker's lapdog Moses humps Dina's leg. There's a water scarcity on the island, so using the only toilet, the if it's yellow, let it mellow, if it's brown, flush it down, rule applies. 
Jack tells Dina the RV has already paid for itself. Roz tells her female sex students to get into the reverse cowgirl position. It's terrific for osteoporosis, gout or goiter. Roz embraces Greg, fearing he's not eating. Bernie presents the Wall of Gaylord. Jack didn't know they made ninth place ribbons. Bernie, Roz and Moses head for Jack's macho trailer. Roz wants to see the boob. Pam tells Greg she's pregnant. He says Jack's gonna kill him. Moses chases Jinxie the cat in the RV. Jinxie jumps on the toilet and flushes Moses. Bernie breaks the toilet apart, rescuing his dog. Blue flush water shoots into the air, soaking Little Jack. Greg remembers their former housekeeper. Isabel hugs him tightly and showers him with lipstick kisses. She thinks Little Jack's Greg's. Jack emphasises Little Jack has no connection to Greg whatsoever. Greg lost his virginity to Isabel at 19. Jack's monitoring Little Jack, adding that surveillance technology protects the freedoms of all Americans. They're using the Ferber method. You let him cry it out, then he doesn't need coddling. Roz says the continuum concept shows that a baby benefits greatly from constant physical contact. A mortified Greg tugs at the photo album with Roz and his foreskin lands in Bernie's Fokker fondue. Outside, Bernie's trying to cement relationships by suggesting playing football. It's Dina and Bernie against Jack and Roz. Jack suggests a complicated play. Bernie seizes Roz from behind and they fall giggling to the floor. Bernie smears barbecue ash under his eyes and glares at Jack. Bernie dumps Jack heavily on the ground. Everybody's deeply concerned, except for a victorious Bernie. Greg wants Bernie to apologise. Jack hides a camera inside a paperweight to watch little Jack. Greg's told no touching the baby, TV, unapproved toys or monkey business. Greg soon cuddles little Jack and Jinxie escapes. Greg accidentally sings an obscenity and little Jack repeats it. Jinxie frees little Jack who gets the remote and watches Scarface. Roz tells Greg to put rum in Little Jack's milk. Greg finds rum, but loses the baby. Bernie and Jack arrive home to find Little Jack watching Scarface with an empty bottle of rum, and Moses humping Jinxie. Greg appears from the kitchen, wearing Jack's boob. Jack complains that these setbacks are developmentally disastrous for little Jack. Roz guesses Jack was never breastfed. Jack calls it drugstore psychology. Little Jack shares his obscene first word. Bernie and Roz arrive at Greg's room with champagne when they learn Pam's pregnant. 
Greg says Jack's really angry. Bernie asks why they should diminish their joy, because the Burnses live in denial. Greg tells them he promised Pam. Dina finds Jack, who straightens up, cracking his back, still tender from the horrific football accident. Roz says Jack's in a lot of pain. Jack says he learns from pain. Jack's face down on Roz's massage table. She says most back pain is psychological. Roz tries a lomi lomi massage. Jack should roam the bush and be free and wild like a lion. Adding that Dina's a hot, sexy tigress. Jack retreats to his RV's hidden control room and uploads images from his camera pen. He requests a full comparative DNA analysis on one Gaylord M. Fokker and one Jorge Villalobos within 12 hours. He secures a hair from Greg's hat. Jack introduces Greg to Isabel's son Jorge. Jorge is 15 and never met his father. Jack calls him a young, half-Hispanic Marlon Brando. Jack provides a CIA waiter with hair samples from Greg and Jorge. Jack claims Greg's Jorge's father. Greg calls it a crazy theory. Jack injects Greg with truth serum. Greg indiscreetly calls Pam preggers, then gets on the mic. He admits he masturbates to Pam and thinks Dina's sexy. He announces he lost his virginity to their housekeeper and conceived a child. Greg says Pam's pregnant, Fokker out, and collapses backwards onto the floor. Greg's ejected from the Burns Circle of Trust. Greg doesn't remember even drinking. Jack announces Pam should get in the RV. Bernie's protesting, lying in front of a tyre. Dina says Jack shot Greg with truth serum before his speech, holding up the liquid she found in Jack's pocket. Roz says Greg only lies to impress Jack, but Roz says Jack should be trying to impress them. Bernie wants to teach the florist some justice, Fokker style, needing just a second to stretch. Jack says once he begins the secrets of combat, it will only end with Bernie's demise. Bernie accidentally kicks Greg in the face, and Jack drives off with Little Jack. In Bernie's orange jeep, Greg floors it, but a police car pulls them over. Bernie approaches the cop, knowing his civil rights. Bernie's thrown cuffed against the car. Greg's ordered down on his belly. Soon, Greg's in cuffs next to Bernie. Foxtrot One says Fokker isn't actually the kid's father. Little Jack says his obscenity and gestures that he's watching Jack. Jack turns the RV around. Greg and Bernie see Jack, but Greg is tased. The cop says 50,000 volts of electricity are passing into Greg's skeletal muscle tissue. Jack produces his CIA badge, but the cop tases Jack too. In the cells, 
Bernie says he talked to Judge Ira Goldfarb, who took care of everything. Greg declares that he and Pam are starting their own circle of trust, and Bernie and Jack aren't in it. Jack says he had a comparative DNA analysis conducted and made a mistake. He admits to Bernie he was in the CIA for 32 years. Jack asks the judge what Bernie said to him. Ira says Dr. Roz saved his marriage. Bernie's married to a very powerful woman. Kevin, wearing a yarmulke, appears carrying a Bible. Kevin spent eight months on a kibbutz, then got ordained as an interfaith minister. Kevin says shalom, everyone. He links hands with the couple and sings a Hebrew prayer while looking mainly at Pam. Jack asks Roz what she told Ira. Jack listens to this and takes Dina to the RV. They have 23 minutes before they cut the cake. Jack hangs his hat on the door. Moses and Jinxie share cake. Starring Ben Stiller Robert De Niro, Blythe Danner, rated 12A, directed by Jay Roach, released in the UK 2004, runtime 1 hour 55 minutes.